Chidima was moved to tears. It reminded her why she started this journey. The YouTube journey of a timid African girl. Once upon a time, in a beautiful village called Umigwe, there lived a young girl named Chidima. Umiwe was a lovely place with beautiful scenery. The sun shone warmly on the land and at night the sky was full of twinkling stars. In this village, laughter <laughs> and stories filled the air and the wisdom of the elders guided everyone. Chirima was born into a family of storytellers. Her mother, Ezine, could tell amazing stories that made people feel like they were in a magical world. Her father, Ifain, sang songs that touched everyone's hearts. Chirima loved listening to her parents' stories and songs by the fireside every evening. But Umiwe was a small and remote village. There were no big stages or bookshops or publishers or even technology to share their stories with the world. Chilima often dreamed of going beyond her village to share the stories that filled her heart. One day, Chirima's aunt, Ngozi, who lived in the busy city of Enugu, invited her to visit for the summer. Enugu was very different from Umwigwe. It was a city that never slept, full of bright lights and breezy streets. Chidima was excited, but also a little scared. She had never left her village before. But her parents encouraged her to go and explore the world beyond the hills. Go, Chidima, her mother said gently. See the world and follow your heart. The stories will follow you. The journey to Enugu was an adventure. The boss ride took her through changing landscapes, from green fields to tall buildings. She arrived at Atinkos' house, so tired but hopeful. She was welcomed with hugs and the delicious smell of jello fries and fried plantains. Aunt Ngozi was a city woman, but she loved the traditions of their village. She told Chidima stories of living in the big city. One evening, Chidima saw a laptop screen glowing in the room. She watched in awe as her aunt used the internet to connect with people all over the world. What is this? Chilima asked, amazed. It's called the internet, Aunt Ngozi explained. It's a place where you can find information and share ideas. Let me show you something called YouTube. Aunt Ngozi showed Chidima videos of people telling stories and sharing their lives. Chidima was thrilled. She realized she could share her village stories with the world. You mean anyone can share their stories here? Yeah? Chidima asked, surprised. Yes, anyone. Aunt Ngozi replied with smiles. That night, 
Chidima couldn't sleep. She imagined herself sharing the stories of Umigwe with people everywhere. The next morning, with her aunt's help, Chidima created her own YouTube channel called The Classic Stories. Her first video was a simple introduction filmed with Auntie Ngozi's phone. But it was the start of her dream. At first, it was hard. Chidima had to learn how to film, edit, and upload videos. She faced technical problems, self-doubt, and even some mean comments. But she didn't give up. She was determined to share her story and honor her heritage. Slowly, her channel grew. People from all over the world started to watch her videos. They loved her heartfelt stories and the way she brought her village to life. Chidima added traditional songs, dances, and recipes to her stories. She also collaborated with other creators. One memorable moment was when Chidima received a message from a viewer named Amara in the United States. Amara thanked Chidima for helping her reconnect with her Nigerian heritage through the stories of Umigwe. Your words have brought me closer to my roots, Amara wrote. Thank you for sharing the beauty of our culture with the world. Chidima was moved to tears. It reminded her why she started this journey. She wanted to give voice to her people's story and create connection across the world. As the years passed, Tidima's channel flourished. She was invited to speak at events, collaborated with famous storytellers, and even published a book of folk tales that became a bestseller. Despite her success, she stayed humble and grateful to her family and community. One sunny afternoon, Chidima returned to Umigwe. She stood by the riverside where she played as a child and marveled at how far she had come. The village welcomed her with open arms, proud of the girl who shared their tales and stories with the world. That evening, Tinima gathered the villagers around the fireside. She began to tell a story, her voice clear and steady, mixing the past and the present. The children listened with wide eyes. The elders nodded in approval, and the fire crackled in rhythm with her words. Chidima knew her journey was far from over. There were still many stories to tell and dreams to chase. But as she looked into the faces of her people, she felt fulfilled. She had found her calling and brought it to life. Chidima's journey continued as she returned to Enugu one evening and was shocked as Auntie Nkozi handed her a small camera. Use this, my dear, Auntie Ngozi said kindly. Capture our stories. 
and show the world the beauty of Umigwe through your eyes. Chidima was excited and set out to explore Enugu. She framed the bustling markets and historical sites, feeling a deep connection to her heritage. Back at her auntie's apartment, she spent hours editing her footage into stories. In her videos, Chidima spoke gently, narrating tales of bravery, love, and wisdom from Omegwe. She shared stories, songs, and wisdom from the elders. Each story was a piece of her heart shared with the world. Despite the challenges, Chidima found joy in every step in creating her YouTube channels and videos. And so, her journey as a storyteller continued, bringing the magic of Enugu and Umigwe to the world. Do you know that Enugu State is a state in the southeast geopolitical zone of Nigeria? The Iriji Mount Festival is held in Enugu State every August. At the festival, over 2,000 masqueraders from across Igbo land and from other states in Nigeria dance and give acrobatic display wearing unique and colorful costumes. Enugu State is the headquarters of popular Nigerian delicacies like Isiewu, Abacha, Siofsio, Apo or Fufu, Uba, Pepe Soup, and Nkwobi. Would you like to visit Enugu State? Leave your response in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Love from the classic stories.